My name is Terry King. I'm the Chief of Breast Surgery at Dana-Farber Brigham and Women's Cancer Center. And for the past 18 years, I've had the privilege of caring for many women with the diagnosis of breast cancer. I've also spent many years studying changes that happen in the breast tissue that put women at higher risk for getting breast cancer. So these changes aren't cancer themselves, but they're changes that we know increase a woman's risk. And so for these two reasons, when I moved to Brigham and Women's Hospital, I had a strong desire to develop a high risk or a comprehensive breast program to help women understand their risk of breast cancer. This program is called B-PREP and it lives in the Comprehensive Breast Center at Brigham and Women's Hospital. B-PREP stands for Breast Cancer Personalized Risk Assessment Education and Prevention. And the overarching goal of this program is to make sure that every woman understands her risk and understands the options that are available to her for risk reduction and prevention. Well, many women are being told now that they have dense breasts. Well, dense breasts are not a new thing, it's just that there's new regulation that says that mammographers have to notify women if they have dense breasts. Having dense breasts is not abnormal in any way, and so women should not be alarmed if they're told that they have dense breasts. In fact, about 40% of women undergoing mammographic screening will be found to have dense breasts. Breast density, however, is not just one thing. There are actually four scales or four categories of determining whether a woman has dense breasts or not. It's the category three and category four that are actually the concerning group for two reasons. One, having dense breasts can make it harder to identify an early cancer on mammographic screening. And in these women, we may actually recommend additional imaging studies to help find that cancer that may be masked by that dense breast tissue. But other than that, breast density in and of itself is being recognized as a risk factor. Now importantly, it's only the women that have the extremely dense breasts, the number four category. Those are the women who may in fact also experience an increased risk of breast cancer simply because their breasts are dense. Now the good news is, is that that only impacts about 10% of the population. So most women don't have extremely dense breasts and most women's risk of getting breast cancer won't be impacted by their breast density but it can be very frightening to be told by your mammographer that you have dense breasts. And so this is again, one of the things that we aim to do in the B-PREP program is to help women understand what their risk factors are, what's their strongest risk factor, do they need extra screening, do they need more than annual mammograms, and how often should they be get being assessed by their physicians, and what can they do to, to reduce their risk, and importantly, to better understand their risk. An important point about the B-PREP program that distinguishes us from other so-called high-risk programs is that our door is open to anyone. You don't have to know you're at high risk to come to our program. You don't have to be referred in by your doctor. You can simply pick up the phone and call us and say, I'd like to learn about my risk of breast cancer. We provide a comprehensive risk assessment. We ask you questions about your personal history, your family history, your lifestyle. Uh, medicine, medicines you take. We talk to each woman about her preferences, about how concerned she is about her level of risk. For those women who are found to be at increased risk, those are the women that we really want to embrace in the B-PREP program. We want to provide them with tailored strategies for screening. We want to provide them with, with follow-up so they feel reassured that they're getting the care that they need. If one day something were to develop, then of course they have an instant connection to the specialists at the Dana-Farber Cancer Center. But most importantly, we want to be available for any woman who wants to come in and learn about her risk.